welcome back to my channel today i am so excited i'm just on cloud 10 today for some reason maybe no i know the reason okay because today today baby shout out to miriam it's so good channel because she says it all the time and i just love it when she says that she'd be like today today baby <laughs> today we are doing highlight okay take a look take a look take a look we're doing highlight here Shout out to my face for breaking out, but I'm still fine. Bloop. We're doing highlight here. We're doing highlight up and through here. And we're doing highlight down here. And it's so easy, okay? It's easy peasy. So in case you're wondering what highlight is, and then I'm going to stop talking. But in case you're wondering what highlight is, it's that bright feature when the rest of you is dark. That's the best way I can describe it. We're bringing out your eyes. We're bringing out your forehead. We're bringing out your chin. We're bringing out your cheeks, your cheekbones, okay? So that's the basis of highlight. So without further ado, we're going to get into this video, and I hope you enjoy it. See you in a minute, loves. Y'all like my vanity? Shout out to my husband for this vanity set, though. This is like fly right here, okay? I feel super official. Now I can stand with the rest of them with those fancy vanities. And look at this. Look. Oh, it's a medicine cabinet, y'all. Look. Praise Jesus in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I'm so excited. All right, love. See you in a minute. So today we'll be using our 24 hour in the color NC45. It's concealer. We'll be using our MAC in the color Raisin. Our Master Chrome by Maybelline for highlight process in the color Molten Gold or Fondue. Our Total Coverage by Black Opal in the color Hazelnut. As well as our Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. We'll also be using our Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And last but not least, our MAC Studio Fix foundation in the color NC50. So now what I'm doing here is just applying our foundation, our powdered foundation to my skin. I'm doing this a few times because it goes on very, very light and I'm just hitting those troubled areas. just going up and down through my nose area my forehead again just hitting those troubled spots I prefer full coverage so I'll be interchanging a lot and then next I'm hitting my full coverage face again with the NC 45 concealer just to cover up those trouble spots that the foundation did not do. Doing a slight contour down the nose. We're not focusing so much on nose today because our topic is highlight. So I'm doing a very slight contour just to say that I did something. And so now I'm just rubbing that in like so. Very heavy handedly because the, the sponges, they tend to absorb a lot more than brushes do when it comes to foundations of liquid or cream of any kind. So I do this heavy handedly just so I can make sure everything is blended properly. Blending is important, it's vitally important in these steps. And so next I'm going underneath my eyes with the color NC45 concealer. This works very well, especially if you have bags under your eyes, dark circles, puffiness, swelling. It helps to reduce and eliminate that. I don't have that problem, thankfully, but I just gave you that tip for free. And we're blending that in as evenly as possible. And 
And so next we're gonna be using our Sasha Buttercup setting powder to start our baking process. The baking process helps us get the look that we want to create. And so now I'm taking the powder and I'm putting it underneath where we did our concealer, like so. And I'm gonna let that sit there for a few moments and we're gonna focus on our nose, underneath our chin, on our forehead a little bit. And so now we're taking our black opal in the color hazelnut and we'll start our contour process along the jawline in a straight line starting from where your hairline begins we're just going to draw down with our real technique sponge i like to tell beginners make your mouth into a fish it makes it easier for you to see where that natural line begins and ends now we're taking the end of our sponge and we are using our setting powder to make another line right underneath the line we created for contouring put a little bit over there okay and so now we're going to blend in our contour line with another flat brush you could use a brush or a sponge it's up to you because we want to smooth it out because we want to be able to create the illusion that our face slimmed down, right? So we don't want to just leave a line there. We want to rub it in while that continues to bake underneath. And so now we're taking our blush in the color Raisin by MAC. And we're just doing our cheek area while we wait for the powder to finish baking. And so now I'm taking my brush and I'm just wiping off the excess, the excess powder. And if you begin to notice, you will see that we are lighter in our jawline area, around our eyes, on our forehead. And so now we're going to take our molten gold or fondue highlighting palette. And we're going to go lightly across our cheekbone with our little brush. And this is the highlighting process, folks. This is how it's done for beginners. We're also going to take a smaller brush, real technique, smaller brush, because I'm going to do my eyes now. I can't get this camera to focus for anything today to show you all the number of the brush. But we're gonna do a little bit underneath our brow line, just to create a highlight, just to let our eyes pop a little bit with this natural beat we got going on here. That's so pretty. So now I'm just creating a more warm tone for my face with the color NC50 foundation because I just prefer to have my face warm toned. I want it to be even and yet rubbing in the contour line that we created. Okay, I'm trying to find my stuff to put it back. Stuff just goes missing. I hate when that happens. Okay. 
So now we're just going back underneath our eyes a bit just to bring those under lashes out. This is one of my favorite parts. It just brings so much volume and just fierceness to your eyes. Just touching that up real quick. See that? Ooh la la. Take that hair down, girl. Period, sis. This hair from Amazon got a little stiff on me, trying to fix it out. Yes, you go, girl. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. There was another step. The lipstick process. Yay! <laughs> this is by the lip bar. I didn't get a chance to get the name of it, but I love the color. I was feeling bold today. So because I've been doing a new lip lately because for some reason I like new now. But today I wanted to go with a more bold lip and I really like this color. I like the way that it dries up. It is absolutely beautiful. And the black and white, I just figured why not a hint of color wouldn't do any harm. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, she fine. She ready. She ready. Fix that lash real quick. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay, loves. This is the final look. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Bye. <laughs> Love you guys.